Hello everybody, this is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo and today I went to check my mail and I found a surprise in there for my sister and I wanted to show you what it was. I definitely was not expecting what she sent me. Uh, my sister actually has an Etsy shop called Kawaii Doll Shop and she sells all kinds of stuff over there pertaining to dolls including um, jewelry that humans can wear that have little dolls on them. They're really kind of cute. And uh, I think when she ordered the supplies to make those necklaces she thought about me. And this is what I hope I'm not going to make too much noise. There we go. And she sent me some of these cabochon holders. I've got this one and then two of these, a couple of these. And then here's the real fun. These little flamingo cabochons. Aren't they the cutest? Several styles we have here. There's these. And these. I really like this one walking on the beach. I think there's a beach in Aruba called Flamingo Beach. That's on my bucket list. I have a feeling this is where that is. This one says, love you. Um, here's another favorite one of mine. I think it's going to look really nice in this. Look at that. It'll be a really pretty pin. These I'll probably make some type of a bracelet with. Not 100% sure. And then this is my other favorite one. We have hibiscus flowers and some flamingos. Anyway, I just wanted to show you these fun little critters that I got in the mail from my sister. Thank you, Tammy Pally, the Crafty Princess. You should go check her out. Uh, she's got all kinds of fun videos. She doesn't do just doll videos, but she's got cruise videos and jewelry videos and all kinds of stuff over there. Hello, I'm back. To be honest with you, I hadn't planned to be doing a like part one, part two, part three uh, of this video, but I got to thinking, I kind of wanted to show you the process of the outcome of these flamingo cabochons. So I went to Hobby Lobby today to look for some bezels and the only 25 millimeter bezels, that's the size of, of these flamingos that my sister sent, was a package of four and they kind of look like pop bottle tops, which then I got to thinking, hmm, I wonder if they'd fit in a pop bottle top. And um, I don't drink a lot of pop or Coke or whatever you call it. <laughs> I don't drink a lot of stuff like that. I also don't drink any liquor at all. But uh, I have a friend of mine that does. And they actually um, said, you know, you should you should make jewelry out of um, beer bottle tops and they gave me a bunch of tops which I've had them and I didn't know what I was going to do with them but I thought hmm let me go check out if they fit and they do they fit perfectly I was surprised so I don't know if I'll use these I'm like I said I'm not really into drinking um, any alcohol I'm just a water drinker. Uh, but, you know, maybe people might like that. Uh, it would be a good recycling thing. Or it might be pretty to paint. I don't know. I'll have to play around with that a little bit. But they do fit, and they look pretty cool in there. Just need to figure out how to put a hook on it so I can hang it. But what I did is I took one of these bezels that I got from Hobby Lobby, and I got me some E6000 glue. I bought a small tube because I wasn't for sure if I was going to be doing this a lot. And they do come in bigger tubes. Um, but I just put just a little bit of glue on the bottom here and, and spread it around. 
and then I dropped one of the cabochons in there. Now it needs to sit for 24 hours before I do anything else to it. And I will be back and I will show you the next step. All right, so I'm back. Uh, as you can see, I've got one of the pieces on today. Hopefully it's cured enough. It's not quite been 24 hours. And actually when I read the little itty bitty print, I actually had to read it on the back here. The instructions are really tiny, so you may need a magnifying glass if you got issues. But what it says, it, needs, it takes 24 hours for it to dry and another 48 to 72 hours to actually cure 100%. So I'm hoping this is going to stay in there. Um, this is the first one I did. And I noticed that these were really, really uh, shiny and kind of slippery. So I'm not for sure how well it's going to stay. So this one, I roughed it up. I just took a file like this. And I just scratched it up in the middle to kind of rough it up. Because I noticed... Um, the other bezels that my sister sent actually had more of a roughed finish, not such a shiny finish. So it may need to be roughed up. So we'll see what happens. And um, I'll post pictures at the end of this to show you some of the finished products. Anyway, I got to run to my dance class. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye. Hello, everybody. I'm back after a couple of days of wearing this, and it looks like it's going to stay. I was a little worried about it because it was so shiny, but it's been pretty durable. I love this. Um, I have another one of these flamingos I think I'm going to uh, set, and then I may do a beaded chain. Just maybe some little seed beads or something I'll have to see. But I wanted to show you the other finished products here I have. Um, I have this little pendant. Uh, it's actually a pen. But I think I may see if I can get me a converter. I think it'd be really pretty as a necklace. And then this one that I had showed, I just put it on a faux leather cord. It's adjustable. Uh, I believe this is a 15-inch necklace. And it goes to about a 25 inch, I think. I'll have to look and make sure. Maybe 30 inches. But anyway, you can wear it long or short. And then I love this. Isn't that cool? I braided the wax cording and then just knotted this part. I'll be wearing this one a lot. But some of these other pieces will actually be on my Etsy shop soon. So keep an eyeball out for them. And uh, thanks for joining me. I hope you all subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. And most of all, you all have a wonderful day. This is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo signing out for now. Bye-bye.